my my only thing is is like um I grow a lot of plants and plants thrive off of CO2. I've actually thought of uh using a um using CO2 tanks in in an enclosed uh indoor tent to be able to to output extremely good production. Like when when I, I, I like conscious? We're... like what the fuck is that have to do with anything? Of what? Are plants conscious? Like, what does that have to do with anything with conscious thought, though? What is? What I don't is, know where you're getting. Is, I don't know where you're getting conscious. So, what does have? What the whole point we were talking about? I said, like, you're saying, like, the eastern area has to do with conscious thought, where the dark ages existed in the western area because it was colder. Because inherently, that western Europe is colder than eastern Europe. That's the whole point. So, what does inherently conscious thought? within plants which just grow better in eastern europe I, well i'm not saying anything about plants anything being else. conscious yeah i'm not I don't, i'm not saying anything about plants being conscious right but uh, you're using I'm, plants as a comparison for no no i'm not the progression no, I'm not, I'm, no, no, it, no it's a completely different thought. thought no 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 what what i'm saying is is that no i'm saying warmer warmer uh an environment where there's more warmth is going to be more inductive for uh mankind's technological advancements in art and and sciences but what I, why? the, the plant revolution thing is complete... existed in england which is one of the coldest places on the fucking planet yeah, so but the it industrial would... revolution the, the whole archetype of everything we base everything off was based off of cold regions it was based off of england it was based off new england it in the Americas, it was based off of cold places where a bunch of people had, had nothing to live for, who were willing to die. What would they do? They'd work in a fucking factory and then progress society forward because they had nothing better to do. A bunch of people in the fucking Middle East, yeah, what they were doing is they were fucking thinking all the goddamn time. But that thought means nothing unless you can practically apply it to something. That's the same thing the Greeks did. The whole reason the Greeks existed the way they did is because they were thinking all the fucking time. They would think because they were isolated on their little continent around by mountains in a warm climate. So they could think. But what happened to the fucking Greeks? They were fucking conquered a billion times over. First they were conquered by the Romans. Then... Uh, Baltic people, um, Macedonia. Then they were conquered by the Romans. Then they were conquered by the Islams. They were conquered over and over and over again because what their ideas were were nothing to anyone. They were used as fodder for the fire that burned for people that are actually fucking doing things. People that were existing in colder climates because the people that exist in colder climates have more to live for. So they would force themselves to do something or else they would die. Well, that's my my, my point. That's the, they're OK. There's like a, a handful of completely different things going on there like i'm not saying all right first off during the industrial revolution uh happened well after the particular small ice age i'm talking about like 1700s and, and onward it was well over with um with when it comes to pl practical application and everything well well at that point england's climate wasn't uh it, it, it it's not what i'm talking about uh, from the the records of just global temperature. I'm not saying just because a place is just cold by default. I'm saying it seems on a global scale by percentage there's more scientific technological breakthroughs when there's warmer clients. This the plant thing is a completely different topic, but it's related to uh, my my like of CO2 in the atmosphere. It, it, we're on a we're on a a ball that ha has a, a thin mist of atmosphere that is held together by gravity that we are breathing and uh, plants thrive off of CO2. The more CO2 you pump into plants, the greener they get, the more they produce oxygen, the more, so you have all these ratios just because the CO2 is climbing, like there's gonna be a counterbalance from the uh, oxygen production. My whole point is that that there is a theory out there that says, uh, that uh, hum human civilization coincides with uh, uh, planetary temperature. Now, the Greeks being conquered, there's there's a completely different mechanism there. Like there's a rise and fall of every empire. We're on we're on the we're on the tail end of our empire that's crumbling in the states. Like like everything has an expiration date. Uh
That is something weird. weird. 